All right, next up we'll open a special meeting of the Ocean Sands Water and Sewer District with a presentation of that budget as well. All right. Be our final budget presentation of the e evening. This is the fiscal year 25 proposed budget for the Ocean Sands Water and mm -hmm. Sewer District. Um, this budget was also prepared in compliance with the North Carolina Local Government and Budget Fiscal Control Act. A water and sewer district is an entity that serves a small geographical area in the county and provides a greater level of service than other areas. Um, Ocean Sands Water and Sewer District is expected to pay for its operational and capital needs through financial resources from ad valorem taxes uh, within the districts and rates charged for utility services. Uh, the current base rate for wastewater collection and treatment is well below the rate required to sustain wastewater collection and treatment. Mm -hmm. uh, this proposed budget recommends an increase of the base rate for wastewater from $13 to $20. Uh, you may remember last year you all increased the rate from $7.95 to $13. So this is a continuation of that increase. Um, it is estimated that the base rate will need to be increased over a period of fiscal years so that the revenue matches the expenses. Didn't we, we had a, we saw this in a study a few mm -hmm. years back yes. that they showed us that we were going to be expecting yes. larger increases. And in Mangland, Mangland as well. Yeah, yeah about four or five years ago, I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which should the base rate for sewer be? Uh, but for comparison, the base rate for Mainland sewer is $40. I mean, what should the base rate for Ocean Sands District B? Uh, I am not certain. I believe we were at attempting to get up to $40 initially. I'd, I'd have to look back at the rate study. Because, the, I mean, the way, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, no. The way I'm reading into this, um, we're subsidizing the sewer rate in Ocean Sands to the tune of $20 base rate. Uh, no, we're not transferring funds from the general fund into Ocean Sands. Um, they're how are they, if we're not paying enough in to cover the expenses, how are they? It's not forty. How, who's paying the other twenty? Well, they're. I mean, I, they're appropriating fund balance. How did they acquire fund balance? <laughs> Why predates you? Yeah, because I thought I thought you said we had to get it up to forty dollars. Right. I, I, at, at right. the mass, not there. I don't, uh, so, Sandra, help us out. I help if us I out. Can make a comment. Yeah. Absolutely. Ocean Sands is the only utility district that we have that has a tax rate, and we the tax rate is designed to pay the debt, and the user rate is designed to pay the operations. Okay. But that has not always been a consistent thing throughout the 30, 40 years that, that it's been going on. So we realized last year that the um, tax rate was not covering the debt, and that's why you increased that rate a little bit last year. Um, but it's still not covering the operations, and a lot of that is because since 2018, the cost of chemicals has gone through the roof. Mm -hmm. And so the just the operating cost of all of these utility systems in the last four to five years has increased significantly. So, so is $20 all we need to be to cover that? No, no. not even close. It needs to be 40. Okay, well then. Uh, it needs to be 40. Even with the tax in case we do, we still need to bump it to 40. So okay. basically the thought is to slowly bring it up rather than hitting them hard. Yeah, that's what we talked uh, about. A lot of people but, got hit hard this tax year. But we're going to get, um, yeah, it seems like we're just going deeper in the hole ultimately, right? I mean, we're, we're spending down whatever fund balance they had to offset. Is that basically what I'm hearing? They, like I say, all the, all the operating costs have gone up significantly. Right. And we had anticipated once we got the new sewer that that might slow down some, but right. it has not. It has not. Okay. And it's had its own issues. So I right. think 
So twenty dollars is not going to work. No. With the with the rising cost of everything, I, th I think you're still going to need to go up to the forty dollars. And there was a time when we made the tax rate zero. Once the initial debt was paid off, sure. The the tax rate went to zero, and there was no tax rate for several years. But then when the new sewer went in, the tax rate was reinstated. Right. And the council was, by not collecting, I mean, we're being very gentle and have been, that by holding off and doing this, we, in fact, jeopardize the future because this is necessary for the maintenance and the upkeep Shop and all the other the stuff. And, and that's, be a yeah. you know, I'm sorry, that, that money's coming from somewhere. I, the, the shortfall is coming from somewhere. The user right. has to pay. It's within the fund. Right now, we're in the middle of a developmental fee study. Okay. As soon as we get that back, we will roll into the next year, probably to what 2026. You're going to have a rate study that will go through all the enterprise funds. We, we, do we, we don't even need that. We know I, we know we're short, right? I, it needs I, to I, be. Right. Mainland's already at 40. I, I don't know why we we're artificially holding down. Anyway, no, no. thank you. Thank no, you. No, right. We have thank a recommendation. Oh, uh, yeah. We're going to have to. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so expenditures within the Ocean Sands Water and Sewer District this year, uh, administration at a cost of $359,574. Um, you can see the expense for water treatment and operations. There's $45,000 recommended for capital outlay in water and $370,000 recommended for capital outlay in sewer. Um, and then the debt service payment for the plant. So the total fund uh, request this year is $2.9 million. All right. Uh, again, you have received this presentation this evening, and there will be a budget work session held on June 3rd. There will be a public hearing and possible adoption at your second meeting in June, and uh, effective date of the adopted budget will be July 1st. The budget will be posted on the website and available in the office of the clerk to the board, and comments can be uh, emailed to commissioner at County NC all right. Bob, that white. Right, right. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. All right. Any any further discussion on this? All right. Can I have a motion to adjourn, please? So, Paul. Paul gets a second. How's that? Selena gets a. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.